Like the men whose names their ships bear, the men of the fleet ballistic missile weapon system have, by their own efforts, earned a place of distinction. It is men such as these who sustain the position of the United States and her allies in an unsettled world. At the historic submarine school, New London, Connecticut, the Polaris submariner begins his life in the submarine service for which he volunteered. Though he may have spent as many as nine months in special schools before arriving at New London, here at sub-school, under the watchful eye of veteran submariners, he is carefully tutored in the fundamentals of submarine operation, in the importance of total team effort to the safety and effectiveness of his ship, and in the historic and honorable traditions of the submarine service. Intense classroom and laboratory study in subjects ranging from basic science and engineering principles to the theory of submarine operation is applied at sea during a series of one-day cruises aboard operational fleet submarines. The trainee learns the full importance of his responsibilities as a qualified submariner as he carries out the duties he will one day perform aboard his own ship. This is true for all submariners, but especially true for duty assignments aboard Polaris submarines. For these ships are as large in size and weight as a light cruiser and embody more technological and scientific advancements and a higher concentration of mechanical and electronic equipment per cubic inch of hull space than any other ship of the fleet. Training men to take Polaris to sea as a fighting ship in a fighting fleet has always been of prime importance. As the Polaris weapon system came into being late in 1960 under an intensive development program, an even more important and intensive effort was undertaken to train the men and form the crews to man this totally new naval weapon. A selection program was set up, and training was begun in the handling of the complex Polaris system. This was the beginning of the program that is in operation today. Using full-scale operational hardware, Polaris men train in every aspect of the weapon system's operation, maintenance, and repair. At nuclear school, men gain theoretical and practical knowledge of the ship's reactor-powered propulsion system. While at guided missile school, others work to attain the many skills that are necessary to make this product of America's technological and industrial genius into an awesome and terrifying weapon of retaliation. Since the first missile burst from the surface of the sea, the men and submarines of the fleet ballistic missile weapon system have taken up stations under all the world's oceans. Over 40 submarines, over 600 missiles, the men of Polaris hold in their hands one of the most convincing statements for peace that has ever existed. And it is this knowledge that has given a special meaning to every duty station. Ships and floating dry docks supply and support Polaris and forward area sites at Holy Lock, Scotland, Rota, Spain, Guam in the Pacific, and Polaris missile facilities on the east and west coasts of the United States. Wherever the highly trained men of Polaris serve, men and missiles stand together to keep their submarines on station maintaining the full effectiveness of the fleet ballistic missile weapon system. Nowhere is this dedication more apparent than aboard the submarines during the long weeks of undersea patrol, when in the finest traditions of more than six decades of the silent service, men and missiles form a bulwark of freedom, keenly tuned and ready. <laughs> 